All right, we are back with your financial experts taking your text questions. This question is, if a bank or credit union cashes a check, does that mean that it's good? Not necessarily. <laughs> please, please, please do your due diligence and vet that check first to make sure that it is good from that particular financial institution. Uh, go to that financial institution directly to cash that check if you have any questions. If someone gives you a check and tells you, oh, I'll, I'll post dated it until next Friday, you may want to double check to make sure there are funds available. But we at the credit union or bank, we have to do what you request. If you want a transaction taken care of, we have to do that. We cannot, we don't have a crystal ball to see whether or not the funds are in someone else's account. So that is a chance that you would have to take if you decide to cash that check. And so we specifically, you know, talk about that because there's a lot of fraud checks around, right? And if you cash the check and then you use those funds a week later when all of that is tracked back to the fact that it is a fake check, then you're the one who is responsible for it, not the bank. Exactly. Especially if you get an unexpected check in the mail for two, three, five, six thousand dollars and you have no idea what it's for, please, please, please be very careful before putting that money mm -hmm. into your account. Hey Nathan, this question is why does low debt or no debt lower your credit score? Yeah, so there's lots of factors that go into credit scores, but one of them is called your credit utilization and it's a very important one. What that basically means is the percentage of your overall available credit that's being used. So whether that's balances you're carrying, loans you have and stuff, the lower that number is, the better your credit scores are gonna be. So obviously if you have a credit card with a big limit and you're not using any of it, that's gonna look good for your credit score. So uh, keep those balances down. Okay, all right, Janae, this person says, should I keep my car, it's paid for, because of recession fears or should I just get a new one? I would tell this person, regardless of a recession or not, if their car is working, to keep their car. <laughs> There's no need to take on any more debt. And if you're scared about the recession coming and maybe you think that your car may break down in the future, start saving money now. Save the car payment that you would have each and every month. So if it does break down during the recession, you already have the money saved to buy another uh, car, another used car. Mm -hmm. um, one of the things that we talk about a lot is debt and how to pay down the debt. The snowball method, what is that? Well, so, uh, oh, oh, go, ahead. go ahead, Nathan. Nathan, you can do the <laughs> snowball say, and we'll have the, Janae do the avalanche. Yeah, okay, well, with, well, actually, if you don't mind, I'd like to talk about the avalanche one and then Janae, you can mention the snowball. The avalanche one is important to me because it's focusing on the interest. So what you do is you pay the minimum amounts due on everything and the one that has the highest interest rate, you're paying any extra money that you can afford towards that one. Once you pay that off, then you kind of snowball it onto the uh, next highest interest rate until you are finally caught up and you'll save the most money on interest. Okay, so that's paying the highest uh, interest rate off first. And then Janae, the other option? Is the, is the snowball method. So you're paying all minimum payments except for the lowest amount of debt, which you pay as much money extra to it. So you can sell things, cut back on your monthly expenses and put all that extra money to that lowest payment. All right, and you see that one lowest bill go out the window and then you find the next one and you do that one too. Thank you guys for sharing your time and your expertise, we appreciate it. If you missed any of this, it's in today's uh, Two Wants to Know section.